Hey everyone, FPS Chasley here. Welcome back to this mission. I don't remember the exact name. But uh, we're getting a down satellite here. I guess I can check the name here. Uh, satellite hunt. So we're going to retrieve a down satellite. We got into Kula that beat us there last time. I didn't realize it was going to be that much of a race to it in the beginning there. <laughs> and uh, officially you can just keep going to the next mission at that point. But what's the fun in that? We, I want to do it. I want to do it to it. Alrighty, my solution might be wrong on this guy. But maybe not. My torpedo just seems to be going to a point that. If it was going to the same point that Cool was going to be, you would probably expect these to be lined up here. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn him back a little bit. And then maybe the Akula will see that's heading towards him and start pooping his pants there. <laughs> Uh, anything yet on that front? No. I'm not going to enable it till it gets on, like, the, uh, right on the edge of glory. Right on the edge of, like, that satellite there. Oh, I didn't want to cancel it. I wanted to add it. Uh, I wanted an area circle. So once it gets to right about there, well, I guess the area circle should be added from the torpedo. So, yeah, delete the... Uh, this is right about the time when he was getting the satellite last time, so I need to make sure it's not, like, freaking getting too close there. But yeah, right when it gets around, like, right around here, I'm going to try and enable that torp there. Uh, is he going, like, balls of steel on us here and not going to be, like, uh, whatever, um, not caring about the torpedo or something? <laughs> Thankfully, I just, uh, not even going to bother with trying any passive nonsense. We just want to get this guy out there at full speed, so active all the way. Let's go back to the toad. I lost the satellite on the toad, but the sub does not really appear to be intersecting it, per se. What do we got? This is saying more like 15,000, so he might have turned back here at some point. A little shallower, but nothing too crazy it's like in terms of heading right for that so let me get to the actually whoa hello that's a very big very close iceberg it's like almost coming down onto my level bro oh did i what i didn't mark my torpedo in the high frequency what the hell <laughs> uh okay that's odd i wasn't looking for it it's all the same thing right there. Okay. What is he doing, Mr. Akula? Okay, yeah, those are starting to converge together there. Can't get any WAA on the Akula because the Torp is in the way. Oh, there you go. 15504. Eh, a little further out. A little further out. There you go. Still don't have him on the spherical yet, but he's still a good, good decent chunk away. You probably won't get too many people further than about 10,000 yards on the spherical there. <laughs> You think you can detect someone on the spherical? I apologize for that. That was terrible. All right, so yeah, Torp is heading out there. Uh, what does my WA say? The range of my Torp is what? Like, what is that? Three point seven five nautical miles. That's about right. WAA does not appear to be as precise as it is in dangerous waters, which is fine by me. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't have to be pinpoint accurate. Just a nice little, nice little. Have you started freaking out yet? No, man, you're a steely, steely-eyed Russian there. Steely-eyed Ruski. Uh, let's uh, bring you back a little bit here. It may have ended up like coming back to intersecting eventually, but I don't know. <laughs> As on Steely Adruski, he's not giving a crap about what this Torp is doing. I just don't want this Torp to be like, oh, <laughs> floor it! And like, head right for that satellite, but I guess I'd be able to see if it did or not, so I'm going to turn it on. Let's see what he does. Alrighty, what is your MO? You heading for that Akula there? Looks like you could be. Go ahead and turn your history. You're not, you're not heading for the satellite, so fine by me. Uh, should I warm up another weapon here just in case? I don't know. It looks like we could be good here. Uh, it appears the Akula is now maneuvering because the Torp is turning. 
but maybe not. Yeah, solution's holding pretty constant here. What's our range to the satellite? Six nautical miles in closing. Still gonna take a good chunk of time to get there at this speed. Okay, what are you doing? What's going on here? What is that a cool it up to? 14,000. 14,000 yards! Alright. Uh, he's still just chilling. 15 knots. As a steely eyed Russian man, it's not going to help you. <laughs> Staring down my Mark 48 here. No, it's not snaking, it's adjusting its solution there on the fly. Big fly! What is that? The Stota. Then I guess we got a little thing right here, too. Some other, uh, other little iceberg right off there, some way. Ugh, I don't know whether to slap you, kiss you, or salute you. You ruski sub, but you're gonna eat it. You're gonna get it. Uh, he doesn't even look to be changing his course or speed or anything. Oh, there you go. Okay, now he's like, okay, we must get out of here. <laughs> that was a torpedo. Uh, too little too late, my friend. I hate to say it. Still not seeing Oh, no, I'm starting to see him a little now. The old spherical there. Too little too late. Muy druk. Gonna eat the big one on this one here, Mr. Akula. Mr. Akula, say goodnight very shortly here. I'm not sure what the WAA is going on that. Okay, now he's running. Oh, he's running now, boy. Hoo-wee! Okay, go ahead and flip that around. That doesn't make sense that the front of that ruler moves around so much. It really shouldn't. It must be a bug or something. It really makes no sense. How was that some place before? Now is that like another place? What's the bearing you're saying? 2-2? Two, two? There you go. Okay. Zoom out. Oh, no. He's a little further out than that. Yeah, you're running now, boy. Running now, boy. Ain't gonna help you out none. Yep, that's a pretty good solution going on there. I'm gonna keep as is. Oh, the nose. The nose is running. I guess I can wipe it on my arm. I'm going to be taking a shower soon enough here anyway. Ugh, try not to act like a 10-year-old anymore. I'm wiping my nose and my sleeve and stuff like that. Alrighty. It's going for the kill. 15... 300... Is that a Torpedo knows what it's doing. Whoa, okay. The odd lighting is odd. I'm not sure how quickly we're going to be able to see this sub uh, before it's just like, oh, there it is, boom. <laughs> oh, that was a quote. That was not me speaking in real time or about real time. All right, well, Torp's locked on. Locked on. Uh, speed of advance, 22 knots. I'm hearing the 3D noises of the Akula. Oh. Oh, that's why I've been hearing it, because I'm hearing the, uh, that contact. That's why. Yeah. Alright, well. I'm going to head for the satellite here. Come left to course zero, four, zero. Hell my. Oh, I saw it. Did I see it? I saw something. Oh, I saw it. Uh, he's still steely eyed running. Oh, their ranges are about overlapped there, it looks like. Any second now. I just don't think we're going to see him because it's so dark in the water right now. It's so very dark. But no, I feel like once it pops up, we'll get a little decent splash of light going on there. Right, it's just like, at this point, she's like, hurry up. <laughs> Jeez. I guess that WAA was off by a decent bit. Uh, where do you, where do you be, son? Did I get foiled? Oh, well, I lost him on my baffles. Crap. Uh, here, turn back then. Oh, there you go. Well, shocked me. <laughs> Startled me. 
Oof. Oof, there you go. A cool one, narval. Is kaput. Is that a cool one model like that significantly different looking? Let's check. It looks kind of like a Victor. Yes, yeah, like that. No, it's the same one. Uh, okay, the job Sierra 4, and we are clear for the time being. Folks, ladies and joims, close that. I probably wasn't picking them up on the spherical because the old, uh, the old flow noise increase from, um, what you call it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and standard All it up here. Standard. Actually, uh, weren't holding any other contacts. Distant contact, probably submerged. Sounds like a boomer coming out of the barn. Sounds like a missile boat coming out of Polyarney. All right, ETA. 20 minutes, wunderbar. He exclaimed with great relish. Uh, rest in peace, Tavadish. All right. Let's just time lapse some time here. Time lapse some time. I'm just gonna take that off because it's gonna get all wonky on me with the toad there. The washout took a little while to go away, but area is pretty clear right now. Not picking anything up. Very good. Mark. Okay, we got ourselves an iceberg in the way of us. And our objective. Come so let's right, deviate to the zero, right a little five, here. One, I'm not trying to pull off another Titanic or something like that. Uh, got ourselves some good old time lapse here going on now. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I got some tortellini in the fridge that I forgot about, so I'm going to be chomping down on that. What is that? Hello. Uh, looks like we got ourselves a satellite mark going on here. All right, let's uh, come a little bit out of time lapse. Steady on course. Come this zero. Come left to course zero, four, five. Let's Elmer. draw a 200 yard range circle. Okay, we'll draw an area circle here on this high frequency sonar mark. Got to get within that little circle there. You're just headed this way. Do a little that, a little this, a little that. Delete that waypoint right there. There you go. Know, that's good. Something off that way as well. Uh, mark that. Alright, it's just not marking shit right now. Whatever. There is the satellite. Right there. We're heading right for it. Dead eye. Alright. Is my nose stuffiness been getting worse as it's been going on? It seems like it. Hello. Thing is huge. It's huge. Does that have a sound to it? No, it's just broadband noise, whatever kind of noise it is. It's just loud. <laughs> Biologic. What? A whale, Beaumont. A whale. That thing is huge. That's what she said. Oh, nailed it. Okay, we're in here. Hello, hello. Look at that. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. Hell my. Retrieve, Retrieve the, the toad. Hell my. I guess we have to all stop and go one knot. Make turns for one knot. Maneuvering eye. Ooh, taking a little, bit, little chunk of time to slow down here. Usually it slows down pretty quickly. Don't want to overshoot our target here. But I think we'll be good. Mission status. Deliver satellites. All we got to do at this point. I mean, yeah, Russian recovery is a objective. You can, you can get a Russian recovery. That would be interesting to see what that would change in terms of the outcome of the campaign there. But I mean, our recovery area is uh, it's decently far away, decently far. So we're probably gonna have some Russian subs over in that vicinity. I'm gonna drop Sierra One. All right, we're down in speed. Divers should be out. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, particularly. Let's uh, just turn this Come way. Left to course three, one, four. Hell my. I just want to speed this process up here. Oh, you're cutting down to the thing. Here, bring that back in. We're, we're leaving the area here. I want you to slow down to one knot. There must be a current or something. Yeah, I should have just drawn the toad back in to begin with here. Left full rudder. Left full rudder. You're not left full rudder. Left full rudder, man. We need to stay inside this circle here, dude. Left full rudder. Uh, 
I probably want to try and get a little closer there, even though this is like a 200 yard circle. Want to get a little closer. Alright. Toad is almost back in. Don't want to lose that bad boy. You honestly probably could. Well, no. I'm not going to go ahead and say that. I'm not going to say that. You're just about in there, Mr. Toad. Just about. Trying to recover satellite, you dig. Alright, let's make turns for two knots. Make turns for two knots. Maneuvering eye. Toad is in. All, All right, let's get a little speed third. so we can turn a little more quickly here. Head back for the satellite there. Yeah, we're at, we're getting out of this little area here. Are you even turning? Like, I ordered left hole rudder, dude. Like, what is going on? Man. Insert waypoint. All right, we'll just change course at least or something, dude. Come left to course one, seven, seven. Hell my. I mean, the left full rudder wasn't doing anything, man. That makes no freaking sense. All right. Um, we want to come over this way. Come Ish. left to course zero, nine, one. Hell my. Yeah, I saw you, Mr. Iceberg. Chilling like a villain. All right, can I get you to like actually left full rudder and obey left my two, command? Nine. Steady on course one six one. Hell my. Okay, yeah, the left full rudder's working now, thankfully. All right. It was bizarre that it wasn't working before. Oh my god, that's scary. Okay, uh, rudder amidships. Rudder amidships. Hell my. Oh, they made that thing look huge, dude. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna hit it. Oh, as soon as I ordered rudder amidships, you're just like good now. <laughs> Interesting. Alrighty, uh, a little time lapse here. Once I get there, I want to back up to stop. All back one third. All Hell back my. one third. Stop. stop. Hell my. All right, we should be good. <laughs> Not seeing it on the 3D there, but it's there. I'm gonna give you a mark. Hello. Who are you? I don't know. Not showing up anyway. <laughs> Let's just speed up time here while we wait for this recovery to go underway. Uh, within 200 yards. Oh, periscope depth. Duh, that's the kicker. That's why I'm not picking it up. Here, go up to, uh, what is it, 6-5 feet? I don't know what it is for here. Make my depth zero six five feet. Make oh, my seven depth zero. Okay, zero, very good. Seven, Thankfully, zero, we can do it with feet. ballast. Bye, bye. I was wondering why I wasn't picking it up. It should have been picked up by now. <laughs> my dumbass forgot about periscope depth. Well, we're not moving, so that's good in case we manage to tap the ice a little bit there. Tap, tap, tappy. Taparoo. Looking like a dumbass. Like, why aren't you picking up the satellites? Like, oh, yeah, because we're at 600 feet. We're nowhere near the satellite. <laughs> Pick up goal complete. There you go. Continue with your mission. All right, yeah, we did brooch a little bit. Not even worth taking a peek. All right, let's go back down to 600 feet. Just do 670. That's fine. Make my depth 670 feet. Dive eye. All right, we are dropping a lot two thirds. Let us get to the delivery area. Stream the tow array. Stream the starboard tow Let's array. do a little time lapse here. We'll get out of here. There you go. Good enough tow there. All right, we are now heading for Xville, three hours away at this speed. Wowzers. Okay. Gosh, there's a little trip ahead of us here then. No matter. This one is showing up like right in front of me, but it doesn't look like it's right in front of me. I guess it'll appear eventually. That's the one I'm seeing right there. Oh, I've not looked at the toad in a while. What do we got going on in the toad? Nothing. It's quiet. You hear a veritable mouse so drop. Alright, then I'm just going to 16 times it for a few more seconds here. I probably don't want to go underneath the layer because I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't expect the enemy subs to be beneath the layer. You don't usually find subs beneath the layer in these games, for what it's worth. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm gonna crush that tortellini. Mm, it's gonna be so good, so freaking good. Ooh, it's slowly but surely sinking. Don't think they model second. I don't think they model secondary explosions in this game. Okay, whatever the mark this was, I'm just not seeing it. So we'll just get rid of it, and then, uh, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and uh, see you later.